What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jobbers and Goons and I'm up early recording this video by the will of the fucking Emperor. That's right, today's video we will be discussing why the God Emperor of Mankind in Warhammer 40k is an absolute menace. If you are a fan of Warhammer, uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I noticed on one of my Warhammer videos, uh, a majority of views were from new viewers, so I think people are kind of waiting to see if this is going to be uh, a subject that stays on my channel, and yes, it will. Warhammer 40k will be consistently uploaded on my channel, including today's video. So definitely, if you're a fan, stick around, subscribe. We just crossed 20k. We're trying to hit 30k. It'd be amazing if you join the ride. Now... I've seen a lot of downplay for the God Emperor of Mankind, and I don't really get why, so today's video I'm pretty happy to do, uh, given that the Emperor of Mankind's OD and he always spins the block. So you already know I'm a huge fan. And let's talk about the like goal. Uh, if you want to see more Warhammer content, let's try to get this to 200 likes and more. After that, I'll immediately upload... Probably like the day after we hit light goal, another Warhammer video. And we'll just keep going from there and building and building. But anyways, who is the Emperor of Mankind? Let's kind of, I'm hoping my channel can be somewhere people that are kind of newer to Warhammer feel comfortable watching, right? So I'm kind of going to give a brief rundown on who he is, why he's important. The Emperor of Mankind is essentially a being born as a result of of like thousands of shamans killing themselves in an effort to create a singular merged astral being that would lead mankind to victory and salvation against chaos right like he's gonna be the goat so literally the emperor of mankind was born to be the goat like off rip he's supposed to be the man and he's instantly born uh with the path to become the legend right he grows up he starts manifesting his powers he begins leading mankind through all different phases and aspects of life for example he might pop up as a politician a lawyer a general it really depends on what mankind needs him for eventually as time goes on the emperor of mankind needs an army uh he begins forging uh, beings like the space marines who come from a gene seed um, he also has obviously his big dogs primarchs which are essentially his sons that were cast into the warp uh, by their mother to escape serving the emperor and it turned out ma it made them all like hood as fuck so so like it actually benefited them that they got yeeted like that but getting back to the emperor he is a symbol for mankind and their leader in the battle against chaos and all the heretics throughout the galaxy by the way in no way am i advocating for like the god emperor of mankind being a good person or like a hero or anything he's definitely not that guy's an asshole but he's a beast right and he spins the block for sure so i'm a huge fan i'm just i'm just making it clear that i don't think like he's a hero or anything there's really not many heroes in the verse but getting back, and that's why it's amazing. But getting back to this, um, the God Emperor of Mankind wasn't always God Emperor, right? Uh, what happened was one of his sons, Horus, uh, a fucking rat, he's a narc, he betrays the Emperor, right? He gets, first of all, he does get gassed up by the whole hood. When I say the whole hood, I mean like the whole warp. Like he had the chaos gods behind them. He was their greatest champion. All this. He was gassed up. He was amped in power by chaos. Like it was crazy. He pulls up on the Emperor, right? Gets past the guard. Wants the 1v1 with the Emperor. The Emperor obliges his bitch ass. That's right. 1v1's his son and basically erases him on every level. Let's him experience true death at the hands of a beast while fighting him on every single plane of existence possible, including astral, spiritual, and physical, right? He waged all these wars, bolos him. Now, his physical body kind of got fucked up in that battle, right? But he didn't really care. In fact, 
if you want my opinion on things, given we know his powers, and I'll kind of explain that in a little bit, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he set all this shit up to become the God Emperor. But anyways, he was sat down on the Golden Throne uh, that was forged to kind of house him in this current devastated state physically. And he sits there leading mankind and helping them find their way against the denizens of the warp. That's kind of his thing now. He sits on the throne and bulls on the haters, right? So what's what's his power? What 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 can we scale him to? Because I said he was downplayed, right? This is where shit gets crazy. We already told you he was born to be the goat. I mean, he was born from thousands of sh shamans killing themselves at the same time, merging their souls and their minds. The this makes him like off rip already on pace to be the greatest psyker to ever exist and he is considered such in fact the crazy thing is um like members of the psyker core and anyone that's a psyker uses any sort of those powers they check in and get their power from the emperor so all these beings like the primarchs space marine psychers all these things they demonstrate throughout battle whether it's insane telekinetic stuff insane psych stuff reality warping uh, soul hacks all these things the, these hacks can basically be attributed to the god emperor because they came from him right like he's the one that's putting this shit out there so it, it does come from him and you can argue that on top of this he has battled the champion horus of the chaos not only is he a primarch one of the like greatest possible beings forged in existence to battle they can battle things from chaos and the warp as well which is outer versal if you guys don't know much about the warp i have a video on the warp definitely go check it out after this one to learn the scaling for that but scaling off the warp and the fact that horus was amped by all the chaos gods and was like their greatest champion the fact he got cooked by the emperor is crazy he's just out here conceptually cooking out reversal beings not only that this man has possessed other primarchs and pulled up on the realms of chaos gods and fucked their whole realm up that's right he pulled up i, I believe it was nurgle pulled up on nurgle's realm the garden of all the nasty shit the lord of plagues right <laughs> and the primarch goes yo real shit you don't fucking scare me and I'm about to cook you and let me tell what tell you why. He was basically like this is a this is not a real place. The warp's not real. It's beyond being real. This is a place of will and there's no greater will than mine. And he was like, "Let me tell you this, Lord of Plagues, before I cook your bitch ass. This is not me speaking for me. This is me speaking for the emperor of the mankind." Because that's who pulled up today. That's whose will I'm using. And the Emperor literally plugs his controller into bro. And fucks up the entire garden. Which is the realm of Nurgle. Which is insane to think that like this high outer god. His hood's getting pulled up on. By rem remote controlled characters. Powered by the god emperor of mankind. That's how raw he is. He is currently locked in a psychic battle. With perhaps just his presence alone because it is speculated he's actually gone and it's like his remnants that are powering everything uh which okay maybe but at the same time that would be stupid op for him to just passively be that way but there's beings that have like literally encountered chaos gods and then glimpsed the like true form of the emperor and his psychic will his astral will and it's like a golden beacon of light, a mountain, even in the chaos of the warp, that you don't even really want to look upon. And when this character did, uh, she was like, yo, I've seen chaos gods, but that corpse of man, that really felt me, like, filled me with dread. Like, that shit was fucking scary. And it's a testament to, like, his raw, true, awesome power in nature. Like, even chaos gods acknowledge, yeah. The Emperor of Mankind's a beast. Is he the strongest ever in Warhammer? No. He's not. I would argue he's probably not. But he's an absolute beast. I've seen people downplay him to like star level to solar system. 
go away. He's easily outer versatile and he can cook you even with his physical body on destroyed mode. Like even without being able to physically get up, he's going to destroy you in several different ways through his hacks and raw power. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the God Emperor of Mankind. Also, he ascended to Godhood, really, when he sat on that throne. And basically, like, billions to trillions of people were praying to him daily and, it, like, manifested Godhood. So, he, he became basically a pseudo-God, a false God for them through that way. Um, which, like I said, I kind of feel like... He intended for that to happen, but who knows? But anyways, let me know. What do you think of the God Emperor of Mankind? Do you think he's OP? Do you think he's underrated, overrated? Who do you want to see me put him against in a versus battle? What videos next do you want to see in Warhammer? What crossover videos do you want to see with Warhammer? Let me know in the comment section down below, as well as if you are a fan of Warhammer, Join my Discord. I would love to have more Warhammer fans in there so we could talk more about it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. I'm glad I got into Warhammer. And definitely looking forward to having more videos on it in the future. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. This has been an Emperor of Mankind video. And I will see you all later. Peace.